Good evening, and welcome to a fourth episode of Ask Atlanta. My name is Matt Chance, and on this episode, we are asking people, what makes you proud? Now, because of last week's incident, our field reporter, Matt Chance, is temporarily suspended, and he is uh, acting as a lighting operator for this episode. Uh, so, no reporter, but we still have plenty of phenomenal answers to share with you all, so let's go check them out. Hey, I'm John, and I'll tell you what I'm proud of. My oldest son is an Army veteran, my youngest son is in the Marine Corps, my oldest grandson is in the Marine Corps, and I'm a retired Marine. I'm very proud of my boys. Lie. My friends. The body I built. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. I'm proud of how Jesus changed me. My wife. My parents and my music. Uh, I'm proud of my family. I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of this city for being cool as hell. My mom, because she's awesome. She raised me as a single mom, me and my brother, and she went back to school. When we were in high school, we were crazy kids, and I don't know how she did it, and she's my hero. My three kids, small, medium, and large. I am proud just to be alive with COVID going on. Just being alive is just a blessing, so I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of that 600K deal I closed yesterday. I'm proud of the fact that I spend most of my days doing whatever I feel like doing that day, and it feels really nice to be living free. I am proud of learning how to be in the present moment and my self-awareness. I'm proud of my three sons, because they're kicking ass and they're doing good. And I really love how their spirit and how much fun they are with us, and we're loving them, and so I'm really proud of my three sons. Um, I'm really proud of my shoe collection. I've been working on it for a while. Hold on one second. Hey! hey. <laughs> I'm proud of her shoe collection for her. I That's it. That's so nice. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, that's thank so you. Nice. I'm proud of my sister. Aww. Because she is helping our mother through a difficult time, and her heart is so big. And she's also a teacher. She's a counselor at a school, and she helps kids get through this whole coronavirus. I'm just so, she's amazing. I am proud of going to Georgia Tech and following my dad's footsteps. Woo! Finding a husband that loves me and knows my worth and um, we're gonna grow old together and we have a dog and that's what I'm proud of. <laughs> my son who's an engineer and my daughter who's an upcoming entomologist that God gave them to me. My pursuit of my dreams, I'm trying to be an actor here in Atlanta and uh, not the easiest thing to do. Nope. But I'm proud that I'm going after it. Two master's degree. I work for the government. I'm proud of that. I have my master's as well. Um, I'm a licensed mental health therapist, so I'm proud to be able to give back to the community. Um, mental health advocate. But um, I guess I'm just proud of everyday life. I am so proud of my wonderful daughters who have accomplished and are productive members of society. They're good, honest people who work hard and are talented. One is an intellectual property lawyer and the other is a landscape architect. And I have a beautiful new grandson born during the pandemic. He's awesome. And um, we're, this is a beautiful day. I'm proud of Atlanta coming together and coming out of their houses masked up, etc. You know, feeling the weather and, you know, living life, man. Rock and roll. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of what's happening right now in society in terms of young people and how they are supporting um, the cause of Black, Life, Black Lives Matter. So I'm really proud of that. Cool. All nationalities are celebrating it right. and it's good to see. I'm proud of my job during the pandemic making a difference, wow. a true difference in saving lives. Hello, so good morning. Uh, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud that I uh, that I am a mature woman. I'm Hispanic, so I live in Atlanta. So I'm proud of myself. Yeah. Proud of my little dog. Every morning, nine o'clock, he jumps up in my lazy boy and says, "Let's go walking, five six miles a day, rain or shine." And he's got me off the couch and uh, kept me away from the quarantine 15. So he's he's my little personal trainer. I'm proud of graduating from college this year. University of Georgia. Um, I'm proud of writing a book. I'm proud of my daughter for writing a book. Ah, there you go. Very nice. Yeah. That it? Yay. And also her grades. Good Thank stuff. you. Yeah. And her film credits. Hey. And her well, singing ability. Don't ask her, she's just gonna brag about uh -huh. me. Uh-huh. Her Broadway awards. I don't know. Stop it. Wow. 
Sparrow Nicole, look her up. No, stop it! I'm proud of my dog, even though I've only had him three days. He's still a good dog, and he's a good emotional support dog. Awesome. Your turn. I'm proud of my dog. I've had him for more than three days, though. Yeah, a lot. Longer. I've had him for about a year, and he's super sweet. And he loves puppies and kids, and I'm very proud of that. I am proud of being myself because I feel like from a young age, I was told I'm too talkative, I'm too bossy, I'm too this, I'm too that. I'm black, I'm a woman, <laughs> and there's all these things that get in the way of me just being who I want to be. So I think the courage to take that and be like, no, I'll, that kid was a leader, and I am a leader, and you know, just like all of the things that make me who I am, um, yeah, I just I just know that I get where I, what I have achieved in life has been a result of me choosing myself and what I believe in over what I was told. And so I'm just proud of getting this far based on believing in me. So, yeah. Yeah. So that, I am kind of segueing <laughs> here. Um, similarly, I am proud that I decided um, to follow my dreams and actually both of us have always dreamed of living in Atlanta. We're both from Louisiana and <laughs> we, Rouge, both, yeah, we both made it happen because this is what we wanted to do and we have grown here and kind of created our own lives. And Yeah, we're adulting. Friends. We're adulting, That's full awesome. on. We're making it through 2020, so there's <laughs> I'm that. I'm proud of that too, making it through 2020, but yeah. I am most proud of my son for participating in the BLM protests this summer, wearing a mask the whole time but voicing his opinion. I'm proud of me and what I've discovered about myself during this time of COVID. Um, I think a lot of times you can, you have to look at the brighter side of things. And I think so often what I've seen, especially on social media, is that people are thinking about all the negative things in their life instead of the positive things and kind of tapping into the things that you have. You're away from distractions, so you're better able to discover who you are. So that's what I'm proud of. I'm proud of the mental health and physical health journey I've been on for the past two years. Um, it's been really rewarding and I'm excited to continue it. Okay, I've lived in Atlanta for the past two years and when I first moved here I didn't know anyone and slowly but surely I've been creating the most beautiful community. Like people like Elena and, and friends who I can just be like, she's like, hey, I'm like sitting on the belt line if you want to come and I was like, alright, on my way. And just to be able to go from knowing no one and like starting fresh to having people I love and care about and people to spend time with is really nice and I'm very proud of it. That's exactly what I was going to say, like my relationships because I don't know, I don't know where I would be without my, my created family um, because yes, my parents like live really far away and my, my brother lives here but I, I still consider like, like my friendships to be like the central like driving force to everything I do. I don't know. Love it. I am proud of uh, what I've been achieving since I came here at 19 years old. I'm an immigrant, I'm a single mom, I'm a female, a person of color. So yeah, I'm, I'm proud of bringing up the community together in this square mining state. No square mining city, but that's what I'm proud about. Family, um, for, first and foremost, my family is everything to me. I don't know what I will be without my family, um, and I am proud of my kids. I have three kids, and they're beautiful, and I think they're the most wonderful kids in the world, and I'm lucky to be their mom, so. I said that I was proud to be me because, I don't know, pre-COVID, I don't think that I have ever been in the space that I'm in today just happy with who I am and loving life, being present, being in the moment, and just spreading love because love is the key to humanity. And I believe that, and we all should. Thank you all. Thank you all for stopping and sharing with us your responses. We truly appreciate them. Everybody else who's watching this, I hope you enjoyed. But before you go, I must ask you, what makes you proud? <laughs> cool. All right, thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you all have a great evening, and we'll see you again soon. Good night.